What happens to nuclear submarines, after they reach the end of their service life? This striking aerial photo reveals decommissioned nuclear submarines stored at the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard. These aging vessels spent many years in silent service, plying the seas, on classified tours, all over the globe. They were then stored here for many years, awaiting their ultimate fate. But as you'll see later, this is not their final resting place. Sixteen of the retired vessels can be seen here, alongside the tender USS Spiri. What you're looking at, are long obsolete classes of submarines that have since been replaced in the fleet. Here, we zoom in on the Ship Intermediate Maintenance Facility at the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard, near Bremerton, Washington. This is where submarines go to retire, before being scheduled for dismantling. Today, 12 retired Los Angeles-class submarines can be seen in this satellite imagery. These are ghosts of the U.S. Navy, eventually to be permanently stricken from the inventory. But their nuclear reactors leave many complex issues for disposal. All of them will be dismantled in a highly secure process, to ensure both safety and environmental protection. Each retired vessel will eventually be brought to a dry dock, inside of a secure facility, where the dismantling begins. The most critical step in the process is the removal of spent nuclear fuel. First, the submarine's nuclear reactor is shut down and defueled. The reactor compartment is then cut out and sealed. The reactor core will be transported to the Hanford Secure Geological Repository. The nuclear core is sealed inside specially designed casks, ensuring that it remains safe and isolated. The sealed casks are then transported to the Hanford site in Washington State, a specially designated area for the disposal of decommissioned nuclear reactors, and run by the U.S. Department of Energy. At Hanford, the reactor compartments are placed in an engineered trench, where they will be monitored and safely managed. The cores will be permanently buried in this geological repository, known as Trench 94. Trench 94 is a thousand feet long, and can be seen here in recent satellite imagery. These steel and concrete casks, are intended to remain buried here for at least 300 years. This place will likely remain a restricted area for as long as humans walk the earth. Or at least until future civilizations no longer have the knowledge of what has been entombed here. Whichever comes first. The assumption is that radioactivity of the material will have diminished before knowledge of what's buried here has been lost. While the Navy's submarines may end their useful life here in this Puget Sound facility, they actually begin their life 3,000 miles away. Here at the Newport News Shipyard, is where new submarines are built. They will of course one day need to be dismantled, just like their forerunners. But for now, these new vessels will be the vanguard of America's submarine force. Today, the newest class of nuclear-powered cruise missile fast attack submarines, in service with the U.S. Navy, are the Virginia-class vessels. The Virginia-class boats are replacing the Los Angeles-class, and are expected to have lifespans of over 30 years. 24 of them are currently active, with plans to eventually bring the total number to 66. The latest version, the Block 5, are expected to last into the 2070s. The Virginia boats are multi-mission platforms, able to hunt other subs, as well as launch long-range strikes against both land and sea targets. Their sonar, and their ultra-quiet operation, are the most advanced ever deployed. They can operate silently for months, without returning to port, and limited only by crew endurance. For all their capability, the Virginia-class boats are now 50% behind schedule. Supply chain backlogs and worker shortages have slowed their construction. America's shipbuilding capacity has fallen behind global competitors. 
A recent video about the shipbuilding crisis can be found on our channel. Retired vessels are among the most fascinating artifacts of history. They can tell us much about where we've been as a nation. They can also reveal something about where we might be headed. If you'd like more short histories like this, be sure to hit the thumbs up button to let us know. And subscribe to our channel so you'll know when the latest episodes drop. Thanks for watching.